how do you deal with disappointment? So I think a lot of the times when we grow up, you know, if you've, I mean, I grew up in an Asian family and I knew that I was getting pushed quite hard, you know, you should achieve this, you should get A grades. And I think sometimes when we grow up in life, we have a lot of peer pressure from the people around us. And so we we're always comparing ourselves with other people. And, you know, we, we, the reason why we feel disappointed is because we of the expectations of either other people, of how we should be, or of how other people's perceptions of us should be. Or, and then that forces us to think, oh, well, if I don't achieve that, you know, then, for example, I was in, it's funny, <laughs> when I was in school, I, um, I got C grades, right? And I, ran, I remember running up to my teacher, giving him a hug and say, yes! Because that for me was a huge achievement. So the reason why I'm telling you this is that whenever things happen in your life, the reason why people get disappointed is because it's the expectation of either you or somebody else. So don't compare yourself to the people. Don't, don't think, oh, I've got to be like this person or like that person. Instead, you want to think about how can I be the best version of me and how can I beat myself? And disappointment comes from over, over expecting, like how many times have you been somewhere and you want to do something and you expect this and it doesn't happen and then so you get disappointed it's because you have an expectation of you or that thing so to stop being disappointed is just number one be really adaptable so okay it doesn't happen that's fine boom let's do something else so reframe the way you think second is Okay, if you are really disappointed and you think, oh, you know what, I, I push myself, I beat myself up, just say to yourself next time, you know what, I'll do better. If you always focus on all these different things, that way you can become the best and you're practicing and you just get to that point and you say, you know what, I did the very best I could at that time. If you get to that point and you're like, yes, I got there, and you're still disappointed, at least you say to yourself, you know what, at least I, I did the best that I could do. And the third thing I always find is that managing expectations of not just other people but of yourself to say you know what uh, from a scale of 1 to 10 how likely is this to happen and so the way you can get there is to keep training yourself to get to that point of number one do I think I'm gonna be the best version of me or number two am I am I putting the effort to get there do I deserve that and the next time you feel disappointed just think about these three things